Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to use row reduction to find the inverse of the matrix A, which is 1 minus 1 minus 1, 3, 2, 1, minus 3, 2, 2. Let's look at the textbook, what does it say? According to David Lay's text, Linear Algebra and its Applications, page 140, section 2.2. It's an algorithm to find an A inverse. You place A and identity I side by side to form an augmented matrix AI, then perform row operation on this matrix, and then eventually and reduce it. When you find the reduced form, you'll get I A inverse if A has an inverse. Let's start by writing down the augmented matrix AI first. Then I'm going to do some row operation. So the first operation we're going to do is notice that we have a leading one in the first row. So I want to make everything below leading one zero. So I can take the first row times minus three, add to the second row. Then I'll get matrix one. Minus one, minus one, one, zero, zero, and the second row becomes zero, five, four, minus three, one, zero. Then I can also take the first row times three, add to the third row. Then the third row becomes zero, minus one. 1, 3, 0, 1. So I have a leading one in the first row and below it all 0. Now, let's continue. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to interchange the second row and third row because I minus 1 there, which will help my calculation. So after I have it already. Now I'm going to do is interchange the second row and third row. So in, when, when I interchange the second row and third row, the first row will remain unchanged. And the second row becomes 0, minus 1, minus 1, 3, 0, 1. And third row is 0, 5, 4, minus 3, 1, Zero. So now I have a leading one in the first row, almost a leading one in the second row. All I need is multiply by minus one to the second row. So this is what I'm going to do next. So after I have achieved until now, I'm going to multiply the second row by minus one. This will give me a leading one. So the first row remain unchanged. The second row multiplied by minus 1 and get 0, 1, 1, minus 3, 0, minus 1. And third row is 0, 5, 4, minus 3, 1, 0. So I have a leading one in the first row and a leading one in the second row. The next thing to do is I want to make sure that the entry Below leading one are zero, and entry above leading one is also zero. So what I can do now is, after I achieve until this stage, take the second row times one, add to the first row. Then the second row remain unchanged. However, the first row will become one. 0, 0, and minus 2, 0, minus 1. And then I take the second row times minus 5, add to the third row, and the third row becomes 0, 0, minus 1, minus 12, 1, Five. So now 
I have achieved having a leading one in the first row and second row. So next step is I want to get a leading one in the third row. So at the moment, the third row has an element minus one. I'm going to multiply the third row by minus one. Then the metric becomes one, zero, zero, minus two, zero, minus one. 0, 1, 1, minus 3, 0, minus 1, and 0, 0, 1, minus 12, minus 1, minus 5. So I have a leading one in the first row, second row, and third row. All I need to make sure that the entry is above leading one is 0. So I can take the third row times minus 1, add to the second row. So I'm going to do the third row. Minus 1 add to the second row to give me the third row no change 0, 0, 1 minus 12 minus 1 minus 5. The second row becomes 0, 1, 0. 12 minus 3 is 9. And I get 4 and the first row remain unchanged. No operation is done on first row. Having done that, we have actually reached a row reduced form already. There is no more leading one you can find. Therefore, we have reached the row reduced form and you find out the left hand side is actually identity. So this one eventually is identity and the other side will be A inverse. So from here, a inverse A is equal to minus 2, 9, minus 12, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 4, minus 5. After the row operation. Now I'm going to show you how to find the inverse by row operation again, but this time I'm going to use the calculator. So let me go back to the beginning. Problem. So I'm going to call out my calculator. I have in the menu execute run, then F1 for metric. Now I have already input the augmented metric there, call it metric A now. It's a 3 by 6 metric. So let's execute here. So you can see the metric. I have here entered already. Now I want to do some row operation. So the first operation, so F1 for the row operation, I'm going to multiply the first row by minus 3, then add to the second row. So I press F3. So multiply minus 3 to the first row, then Add to the second row. Then exe is continue. I'm going to multiply 3 to the first row, add to the third row. F3. I multiply 3 to the first row, add to the third row. Execute. I got another metric now. After finish now, I want to interchange the second row and third row. So this time, I'm going to press F1 to swap. Swap. Now, the row I want to interchange is second row and third row. Then execute. So I interchange the second row and third row. Then I want to multiply the second row by minus 1 to get a leading 1. Press F2 for multiply. Multiply minus 1 to the second row. So I have a leading one in the second row. And then I multiply by one to a second row, add to the first row. So I press F3, multiply one to the second row, and add it to the first row. I have a zero now. Then I want to multiply minus five to the second row, add to the third row. 
press F3 minus 5 multiply to the second row add to the third row execute so now I have finished a leading one in the first row or second row now I'm going to multiply the third row by minus 1 so multiply by minus 1 to the third row execute so I have leading one in the third row now multiply third row by minus 1 add to the second row so I press F3 multiply minus 1 to the third row add it to the second row execute and now I have an identity here and on the other side row, column 4, 5, 6 you'll see the inverse come up early minus 2, 0, minus 1, 9, 1, 4 minus 12, minus 1, minus 5 and that is the end of the recording